it's very, very customizable. And Algolia allows you to set up all of this uh, in a very efficient manner. The database works uh, really well. So if you look at the Amazon side again, it's, you're going to see that, look how big this search is highlighted. And let's say I want to find a product. I want to find pet treats. You see this drop down. This drop down is searched from a database. So Algolia makes it easy uh, to really fast. Look how fast this is. And again, this is a you know billion dollar company, but you know for small dogs. So look at these suggestions, right? Uh, now, if I just put for small dogs, let's say, and it, it filters it in terms of how many people are searching for it, then you're going to see the results. And look, their first thing is Prime. I definitely want Prime. And look, when I do filter, it will reload the page really, really fast. And then I have all this, you know, do I want brand? And let's say I'm looking for under $25, right? And then it's going to show me all the ones that are under 25. And I want average customer reviews. You know, I don't want to see anything less than four stars. And then that's it's going to give me that. And the way that it, it, it organizes this, it sorts this is, again, of course, Amazon wants to prioritize um, the products that have the lowest return rate and the highest profit. So Amazon's algorithm is crazy, right? But the reason that I'm showing you Amazon is to, sh to, to basically portray how essential this functionality is from an e-commerce standpoint. And if you look at, you know, if you want to take anybody as an example, take this as an example, take Amazon as an example, because they know what they're doing. This is the function. This is the primary functionality that made them number one in the world. Now, similar, let's show you a smaller business that has this functionality. Now, if I come here, you see what happens like this, this, this is very subtle, right? When you click on the search, you're going to gray out everything. And what I want to do is I want to say, let's say I want to look for school table, right? And then school table might show me only the, these products. But if I search for activity table, right, it's going to show me specific products. This client didn't want category pages to be displayed on their search results, only products. But if I don't select anything and I say search for activity table, what I'm able to see in the search results is these activity tables, right? Now, on the search results, we didn't enable filters for this client because he just wanted the products to be displayed. But if you actually go to tables and he only wanted it, again, this is why this functionality is it's very customizable. And if you look at activity tables, you'll see that this client wanted a top navigation filter with visuals, right? Like if I'm looking for a horseshoe, look how fast the page will load. There you go. You see, look, there is no reload time. And then if I want a specific shape, let's say I want all the square tables that are um, a specific height, right? Standard height. That's it. So look how fast this loads. This is what Algolia is able to do for you. Okay. Now I can turn it on on any category. I can turn it on or turn it off on search results pages. It's very, very customizable. Another client, completely different product, more filters. If you come here and if you look at anchors, you're going to see that all those search results are fed. And look at all these filter results on the left navigation. So if I'm looking for uh, you know, drop an anchors, you see, and then I'm looking for the um, right thread direction. And these are the products that I have. Now for this one, if I search for both, this client actually wanted keyword searches and then products. So if you want any kind of uh, result here um, in terms of category pages, you can do that as well. Another example you can look at is specialist ID. Now, if you search for uh, ID badge, for example, you're going to see the suggested term. But if you search for ID badge holder, again, you're going to see all of this. Now, if I go and if I actually search for this product, I have color as an option here. And I have all these different types of uh, orientation, uh, material type, et cetera, et cetera. 
And if I click on it, you see it loads pretty fast. And this is another functionality. So it's very, very customizable. And Algoli allows you to set up all of this uh, in a very efficient manner. The database works uh, really well. Now we're talking about e-commerce, but it doesn't have to be e-commerce. You can really use this feature for anything that you'd like, any kind of search, internal search, website search, document search. Algolia's technology is pretty good.